Hi, welcome to our presentation video prepared by the Atlas UAV team from Istanbul University Cerrahpaşa for the 2023 SUAS competition. Atlas UAV team consists of 18 developer students and our team participates in various competitions in Turkey and United States. My name is Zeynep Suda Karakurt. This is my third year in the Atlas UAV team and I'm the team captain for this year. I'm responsible for mission planning and team coordination. My name is Ika Gözdar. This is my first year in the Atlas UAV team and I am a member of the electronics unit. I am responsible for designing and integrating avionics systems for the team. Additionally, I am the team safety pilot for this year. Hi, I am Seda Kartaş and I'm a junior chemistry student. It's my second year as a part of software development team and I'm responsible for the ODLC mission development and user interface design. Hi, I am Mohamed Ernegi and I am sophomore computer engineering student. It's my second year as a part of software development team and I am responsible for the object detection with artificial intelligence and image processing. Hi, I'm Berkay Erol. I'm the electronic sub team lead in the Atlas UAV team. This is my third year in the team and my role is GCS operator and full avionic system designing. I'm Berkay Güven. It's my second year on the Atlas UAV team. I'm a member of the electronics department. My tasks in the team are providing the Wi-Fi communication system and the electronic and mechanical design of the autonomous antenna tracker. Hi, my name is Kadiran Salam. I am a sophomore computer engineering student. It's my second year as a member of the software development team. I am responsible for general mission tests and different subtasks. I'm Tan Polo. It's my second year in the team. I'm a member of the mechanical unit. My job in the team is the design and assembly of the UAV. As brief overview of UAV this year, Atlas version 2 was designed, developed and tested to accomplish accurately and efficiently for computation tasks from stretch by our team. Atlas version 2 is a multi-rotor UAV with a weight of 19 kg, flight speed is 40 m per second and flight time of approximately 34 minutes with fully autonomous capability. Firstly, our team has designed a new UAV for this year and drove previous years system to the flight time and pilot capacity because of the new competition mission and the time-wise waypoint sequence length. For the mission timeline, team has conducted simulation and flight tests and determined that a system that could afford a flight time of at least 28 minutes was needed to fly 12 miles in maximum takeoff weight. Analysis methods with simulation for approximately flight time is in screen. In order to achieve the maximum full mission points, team has decided that US system should be able to perform mission as autonomously as possible with less operators. One of team's solution, our team design an autonomous antenna tracker eliminating the need for an human antenna operator. For the Odyssey and airdrop missions, our team tested many different systems and mechanisms and decided on the design and acceptance criteria. The features of the design actual system has been determined. Lastly, the requirements for our UAV to full autonomous flight were determined and optimizations were made according to the acceptance criteria. The operational exchange developing of our team continues with test flights. The chassis of the UAV was designed by our team and the carbon fiber plate was cut on the CNC machine. The material of the landing gear was chosen aluminium. Every UAV is designed for carried out a mission. Our UAV is custom designed quadcopter for carrying all the computation mission accurately and efficiently. Team's electronic diagrams of our UAV system is displayed on the screen. For electronic section, we have four different subsystems for accomplish all these tasks. The expert software team expertly processes the captured images, leveraging their expertise to ensure optimal performance of the airdrop mechanism in accordance with the task requirements, culminating in the successful release of the designed load. The flight controller used in the quadcopter designed by the team is programmed to provide the necessary autonomy for the UAV. A redundant communication system is used between the ground control station and the UAV during flight. In case of an emergency, an RC controller is used for quick safety pilot intervention. After the ODCL operations, the airdrop process is carried out with the pilot system designed by the mechanical unit. The UAV autonomously completes its landing after all days operation. To detect objects from high altitudes with low error rates, the camera requires high resolution, high shutter speed, a larger field of view, and gimbal compatibility. GPhoto 2 library support is also needed to trigger the camera from the companion computer. Selected Sony A6000 has 24.3 megapixel resolution, 1 quarter 4000 shutter speed, 16mm to 15mm focal length, 83 degrees to 32 degrees angle of view. The autonomous display system will run on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. A CNN-based YOLO algorithm is used for object detection and classification, offering high speed processing and X-sharing. 
trained with a dataset which includes more than 40,000 photos has been created by the team. The non-maximum separation algorithm was used to prevent multiple detections of an object. Once image processing is complete, a bounding box is drawn around the detected object, and the shape class is labeled on the detected object. The color of the shape is determined by using the functions in the OpenCV QMS library via the cropped image. Due to the presence of the lower and upper threshold values of the colors, the color determination was facilitated by converting from BGR color space to HCV. From the cropped image, the alphanumeric character is detected by using YOLO. For the localization mission to find the actual size of the object depending on the number of pixels in the image format in the camera, equation 1 is used to find meters per pixel. The distance from the midpoint of the object to the UAV is found in pixels and this pixel value is converted to the real distance value in meters. The properties of the airdrop objects given in the computation area are kept in a list and if the object defined with YOLO is on the list, dropping is started. Also, a user interface has been developed by using DarkDNG. The main purpose of the interface is to control airdrop area detection. When the autonomous detection algorithm detects the airdrop area, the image of the area comes to the interface as a warning notification to check if the area is valid for the drop or not. If the detected object is classified as an airdrop object, precision landing is performed using GSC formulation for more accurate dropping according to the color of the detected object. A custom design to access gimbal system is used to prevent the camera use in the UAV from being affected by vibrations and to obtain a more stable image. Considering the mechanical specifications of camera and the required torsion values, GB36 and GB54 were preferred as gimbal motors and Alexmos 8-bit controller was preferred as a controller. Furthermore, in order to prevent the rolling shutter effect and more stable reaction speed the PID values of the gimbal mechanism are tuned at once. Our drop system is an a mechanical release device similar to the winch mechanism was designed by the team to release water bottles. The difference of the design from the winch mechanism is that the vertical moment of the bottle is according to its own weight instead of the shaft rotating by an actuator. While the system is suspended in the air, the shaft passing through the rail is fixed with a linear actuator, preventing the cable wrap to the rail from rotating the rail to the weight of the bottle, and the bottle moves when the arm releases the shaft. Design air delivery weights approximately 1.32 pounds including shoot and drop. In order to achieve the optimal release and drop time in the design, the diameter of the rail was reduced due to the fact that the free fall was fast and uncontrolled. The friction of the spindle and rail was increased and methods of slowing the fall by trying knots on the cable were applied. The air delivery time of our design is approximately 9 seconds. Atlas UAV team's communication system consists of three separate units. The frequency bands and range of the communication units are indicated in the block diagram. RC communication provides the pilot to change the fly mode of the UAV and intervene in any possible emergencies. The team uses FR Sky Terranis X9D Plus radio controller and a FR Sky RC receiver to establish the RC communication. Telemetry communication provides the instantaneous transfer of the UAV fly data to the ground control station. The RFT 900X telemetry module with 128-bit AES encryption is used for this telemetry communication. Thanks to the connection of the ESP32 module with Jason Nano, the telemetry data is also sent simultaneously via Wi-Fi transmission. Wi-Fi communication is necessary to provide an HTTP connection used to transfer the photos taken by the camera and all the CIA data that comes with photos to the image processing computer. For this purpose, the team selected the NanoBeam 5AC Gen2 Wi-Fi antenna which operates on a frequency band of 5.8 GHz. To optimize the performance of the directional antenna, the team designed a custom antenna tracker. First, the equatcopter was designed keeping in mind the mission requirements and the required minimum flight time. Extrotor Pro X8 100 kV power system with hobby wing 30 inch foldable carbon fiber propeller was chosen as the propulsion system. Total thrust produced by the propulsion system is 134 pounds with a 3 to 1 thrust to weight ratio. Two 32,000 mAh lithium polymer batteries are connected in series to provide the minimum required 26 minutes of flight time. The airframe of the UV is produced from carbon fiber by hand, layup techniques, and CNC machine from ready made plates. Critical components such as motor holder, boom holder, landing, gear connection part are produced using aluminum material as they require high strength and durability. A label diagram that containing all relevant metrics in millimeters of our UAVs, airframe and performance parameters table is displaying on the screen. 
the autopilot software used by the team on the Ardicopter UAV is loaded onto the Pixar Cube Orange autopilot board. The Pixar Cube Orange was selected due to its important features such as its sensors, triple independent IMUs which redundant and vibration isolate units and redundant parameters. In addition, the use of the 32-bit high-speed microprocessor has also been a contributing factor in choosing this board. Another reason for this board's preference is that the team has used the Pixar Cube Orange board in many prototypes over the past 5 years. To ensure accurate positioning reaching our system, we added an external GPS module to HEAR 3 Plus. Additionally, we improved horizontal position accuracy by adding real-time kinematic support. As GCS software, Mission Planner has been used as a ground control software to meet the needs of the team which is waypoint path planning and drop system triggering. This year, a fast and custom obstacle avoidance algorithm has been developed. The algorithm keeps track of our UAV position in the net coordinate system. Then, it finds the distance between our UAV and the other UAV using LIDAR. If a UAV is close to our UAV, the algorithm calculates its position in its net coordinate system. Lastly, it calculates the optimum Bezier curve around that UAV dynamically and translates points to geodetic coordinate system. Our team considered many alternatives to write the process. The main parameters in the decision-making phase were the cost of the options and their performance to meet the test demands. Quadcopter frame was preferred instead of octocopter and hexacopter alternative due to its high maneuverability and flight time. For the propulsion system, the KDE motor, T motor, and Hobbywing X rotor motor were compared. Hobbywing was preferred by the team because it was advantageous in terms of proportion and cost. Pixar Cube Orange, Cube Black, and Pixar 4 were evaluated as autopilot card alternatives. Pixar Cube Orange was preferred by comparing features such as processor power, RAM capacity, and sensor numbers. Different locations were considered in the UAV for the placement of the batteries. Thanks to the motor's use, it was decided that we wouldn't have a problem with the UAV balance and that it would be placed on the upper chassis of the UAV due to the fact that the alternative positions were full. Security is a critical factor in aviation and regulation are generally subject to strict standards. Comprehensive measures have been taken to reduce potential risk in the development and testing process of UAS, and identification and assessment of potential hazards are constantly monitored. The probability and severity of each hazard are carefully evaluated and risk mitigation efforts are based on constant updates presentation in the development and testing process of UAS. We have evaluated the risk into main categories developmental and mission-based and present the measures taken for both categories in a detailed table. All team members rigorously follow and take into consideration these measures. According to the PID adjustments and optimizations made in the gimbal system, vibration, angel positioning problems in the image and the jello effect in the camera are minimized. All captured images have a resolution of 24 megapixels and images are sampled at a rate of 1 image every 2.5 seconds to ensure complete imaging of the search grid. In order not to be affected by changing weather conditions, the team's customized camera settings fixing shutter speed and ISO to ignite motion blur and minimize noise. The high shutter speed has been selected, so the photos taken for the Odyssey mission are not affected by the speed of the UAV and are not blurred. Over 40,000 objects, including visual and red environments, were trained for the YOLO algorithm to use in object detection. As a result of 8 mission trials, it was observed that the detection rate was above 80%, and this rate continues to be increased by retraining the undetected objects, and the result of the detection and classification process, 97% accuracy rate was achieved. First of all, airdrop tests were carried out by our team from a high point of a building and it was determined that the system was reliable. Of the 23 building tests were performed, 18 were successfully and gently landed. As a result, success rate of 78% was achieved. After the building test, 11 airdrop tests were carried out with the UAV and 7 of them were successful and the success rate was observed to be 63%. In airdrop tests with the UAV, it was observed that the loose were left approximately 9 feet from the target. As a result of all the tests carried out, it was determined that the UAV successfully performed the airdrop mission. During the mission testing flights, it was observed that the communication system successfully fulfilled their details with high efficiency. The UAV communication system has been designed with the range in mind. The UAV telemetry connection has a high range of 20 km. In case of any loss of telemetry connection, telemetry data is sent simultaneously with a Wi-Fi receiver with a range of 5 km. The RC system has a range of 4 km. The packet loss graph, the RSSI graph are displayed on the screen. 
Following the SITR simulation test, the proportion test of the motors to be used on the UAV was carried out. A graph was created by comparing the thrust test data with the datasheet data. The electronic components used after the proportion test were tested. After making sure the safety of the system, four total flights of 100 minutes were made with our UAV. In these flights, it was checked whether the flight requirements for the computation were met by the UAV. 200 feet away from the runway and 12 miles, which full load was achieved with the UAV at an angle of 20 degrees. On these flights, waypoints were passed with less than 25 feet of error. After calibrate all components and ensure that all systems are worked properly, integration tests are performed. For precise flight, an auto tune flight is conducted to optimize the PID values. Additionally, flight parameters are tuned advanced. For autopilot performance, team has conducted 38 autonomous flights and performed takeoff and landing all autonomously, except the first two flights, which is takeoff is performed manually. The average amount of time spent in manual mode per flight is 4 seconds, and the team was completely successful. In flight test, 1100 waypoints was tested by team and all waypoints was successfully captured. The average miss distance was calculated as 8 feet at this tested waypoints. Average success rate was 99%. We have tested our algorithm on both simulation environment and real life. In the simulation environment, we successfully avoided 24 static objects out of 25 and 19 moving objects out of 22. In real life, we couldn't test for moving objects but we have avoided 15 static objects out of 18. Our mission tests are done in three different ways. The simulation tests are ground tests and air tests. Which the simulation environment in Gazebo and Mission Planner. Missions are tested and possible crash are prevented. In our ground tests, the subsystems of our UAV are controlled. In this way, it is ensured that all subsystems are working properly. 80 waypoints, including autonomous takeoff and landing, can be captured with 90% accuracy. During the installation of the UAV and the mission flight, time is kept and efforts are made to shorten this period. Quadratic Bezier curves has been used for obstacle avoidance. Trained by the team with a dataset of over 40,000 photos, and progressively better results have been achieved. According to our test results, airdrop has increased the score. The results of all tests performed are given in the overall score table. As a team, we continued our work with extra effort throughout this process. We covered all our shortcomings during the term and we are ready to succeed. Good luck in the competition!